events that we then started to put down um, to get so we uh, get to kind of present where we're at with this. Uh, throw in some feedback, and we'll try to get this finalized enough that we can start cutting some of these pieces and um, yeah, make progress. Okay, so this is what we've got so far, um, except for some. Uh, like this is the, the part that I'm working on there. Luke's been working on a uh, roller to go in the front here that actually draws the balls in. Um, and Colin's been working on the climber, which will attach around here and uh, lift the robot up. Um, this is the kind of the, the frame of the robot, which uh, has places for uh, bearings for these conveyor rollers. So there's going to be a conveyor belt stretched between these two that draw the balls up into the flywheel, which is going to be up here. And uh, there's going to be a bench metal scoop that has yet to be created. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory or any questions forward. Uh, we've really got about probably four more hours to be working on CAD uh, to get this stuff like figured out pretty well. Probably then it's still going to be some touch-ups after that, but um, we'll probably need a Home Depot run to get some parts uh, for what we're thinking of doing here, uh, but nothing too crazy. Some surgical tubing, uh, some PVC pipe, um and yeah so definitely making sure that like the electrical programming front is ready to go just since that can get done early that's good and seeing where we can start to actually manufacture this stuff so for example the cutout in the front of the chassis we're pretty set on that so i think that we can move forward on that um okay what has your group been doing okay <laughs> so right now our group is working on finishing up the electrical board um, we had a couple of mismatched pieces, so we were in a bit of a frenzy looking for odds and ends. We also don't exactly have the perfect number of tools. So should this be like coming kind of, out? We're, we're half-heartedly looking for a very small space. Because uh, I, I can turn things, uh, but it's really not We should really go find one of those happening. because it's really helpful yeah, when you're setting up the Rio. Just, uh, have a small screwdriver, flathead. Wait, 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 wait. So it was fine, and then at like one I died? Yeah, and that's like more or less how it went. <laughs> so then it was two, and then I was mad. So right now we're working on a, a way of testing out a robot when it when we want to do climbing. So we're gonna we're gonna be taking uh, we have a inch and a half uh, aluminum pipe, which is a good simulant of a, an inch and uh, two thirds. It's it's like slightly it's slightly smaller, but I think it should effectively be a way of a good way of testing. So what we have is we have a forklift um, that is provided by the space that we're working in. The Wilson Project Center. Thank you, Wilson Project Center. Yeah, the Wilson Student Team Project Center yeah. here at the University of Michigan. That too. So, uh, Very useful. Um, so what we're going to do is we wanted to have it so that we basically are hanging this pipe from the, uh, the forklift the forklift, so that we can actually have hook on and like lift ourselves up. Now, we won't actually be able to test balancing, but I think the bigger thing that we want to test is actually getting on. Um, we also wanted to test uh, slippage. Slippage, which means that we're also going to try and create a second configuration where the pipe, rather than being level, will actually be at like the most extreme, which is, I believe, 15 degrees. So based off of that, what we're trying, uh, I was just saying to John that we should have uh, two lengths. So if we have this uh, paracord, which is uh, very strong, uh, should be able to sustain the weight of our robot. Um, so the idea behind it is we want to have one of these loops of the, the cord on here one of, at all times. And then we'll have one of the loops attached in this like forklift configuration, or this is like the forklift. And then what we can do is one of these will be like, they'll have an extra loop kind of off to the side. So when we want to move it to like a 15 degree configuration, what we do is we then move it to the next, oh boy, bad. Um, so you have the forklift again. And what we do is we, so this one will still be at that still fixed length, but this next one, we actually move this loop into there. So then now we have one that's like this length, like this, 
so that now the pipe is actually kind of at this angle through the loops. It's not quite to scale. Yeah. Uh, Won't be that bad of an angle. Yeah. yeah. So what, what we're trying to do right now is we just need to figure out, given this, this distance, how big should this, the distance between that part be so that we can get a 15 degree angle. So we just need to do a bit of bit of maths. Some geometry. This is we're doing prototype number two of the hook. Uh, we're trying to simplify it a little bit more this time. Um, so I made three prototype designs. One's round, one's less round, one's even less round. And we're just gonna see how well each of them work. How are you gonna test them? Um, we have this arm. Uh, that will be on the robot, but we can use it to simulate the motion. And then we can put a bar right there on the forklift, and then see which one holds up the best. Why are you taking the front of the robot off? Sure. So Better we're tow. taking off the front panel of the robot because CAD finished up uh, designs and specifications. So we are going to take this off and cut it uh, a certain distance from the end to make an opening in the front of our robot. And so we can select power cells. Yeah. Yeah. Um, last night I printed out this uh, window motor adapter. So this will allow us to connect the output shaft of the window motor to this uh, aluminum bar. So this is done with just PLA with a 60% infill. So pretty high infill to make sure it's strong enough to hold up to being shook around like that. Uh, we're pretty, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, so I think it's going to be able to hold up this as well as uh, a small weight from the hook down the end. So we'll see how it does. Uh, we started uh, testing some code that we had just put together, uh, hoping that it would work. Um, this was our first chance testing it. We did it with just the electrical board by, by itself because the Victor's uh, very helpfully I uh, use color-coded lights uh, to show uh, what the motors would be running at if they were plugged in. So we just tested it with the robot for the first time. I have no robot communication again because I have to reconnect because I lost it for some reason. Okay, let's go. And right now we basically just have our basic tank driver. While we seem to be a little backwards, everything seems to be working properly. That's an easy problem to fix. Yes, it is a very easy problem to fix. Which is currently set up to be our intake motor. And the only part of this entire thing that doesn't work is uh, the flywheel. We're not too worried, this was just the first draft anyways. Um, so, yeah. Software electrical, what do you got? Uh, we've done a working drivetrain. Uh, all the wheels spin, we've got some working code for pretty much every part of stuff. It's just a matter of compiling it all together. We're currently working on deciding our uh, control scheme uh, so that we can go in and actually make every uh, all of the controls control the proper stuff. Um, anyone else working on stuff? Uh, what have you guys been up to? We have a, we made a cut list for most of the parts, but most of the metal uh, bars of the upper chassis, and those have been mostly finished cut. We're in the process of drilling holes for bearings and. Uh, gearboxes from the runners. Okay. Yeah. Um, so coming up, we've got to finish drilling all of the. So all of those major bars on the top are cut, and we've got uh, some of them. We've already drilled out some of those mounting holes for the bearings and the motors. Uh, so we'll just be continuing on that. The next steps are kind of getting all of this assembled together. So that's gonna involve getting some gusset plates to connect all them together. Uh, so this is gonna be a lot of time on bandsaw due to an unexpected uh, plasma cutter failure. So we'll be making some drawings of them, cutting out a lot of sheet metal parts and then riveting it all together. Uh, 
But yeah, this is our finalized design. I think we've got most of the kind of individual parts all in the works. So let's just stick them all together now. So um, we are creating uh, gussets, uh, basically ways of connecting two, uh, like, what are they called? The bars. The two bars. bars. Basically two bars together so that uh, we can kind of attach them. So you can see with this attachment, I can kind of put this at a direct 90 degree angle and able to fasten these together pretty easily. So we'll, this is symmetric on both sides of the robot. So you have one for each side. So we're just working on a bunch of them so that we can construct our robot by say the end of the night. Okay. So this is kind of the cube where the balls are gonna be. Um, so Is this our tape measure? Is that a yes or a no? Maybe. So we're into the uh, second night of the build. Uh, we're about ready to head home for the evening, morning. But so far, here's what we've got. Uh, we have yet to attach this frame to the chassis. But we've got all of the main components together. We still have to fasten a couple of the motors and obviously the flywheel and intake wheels to it. Uh, we're getting it set up so that the, uh, we can pick it right up where we left off in the morning. Um, so you can see we've got this chute already, kind of a nice feature. One of the issues with it, it's a bit narrow, so you're expecting it to roll more nicely, but it kind of gets stuck. We'll see how that affects it once we get that uh, conveyor belt working. Um, we've got our winch system hooked up here. Uh, Got a couple ideas on how to, to prove that, so we'll see what we can do tomorrow. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much ready to just come back and keep building tomorrow. Turn it upwards though, is this going to be too close to the battery? 